major system. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Black Ops 1. I'm playing as Nixon, and we're back on 5 today. I streamed this so, so, so long ago. We're playing with a mod on Black Ops 1 that's really, really going to change everything up. Okay, so we're running the Renaissance mod today on Black Ops 1 Zombies, and it is a fantastic mod that does a lot of crazy things. You can already tell the zombies' eyes are looking a little bit red, look, looking a little bit dangerous here. So, oh. Oh, there's also new animations too, it looks like, and the perk icon looks totally different. Just, it's a whole revamp system. If you thought the Black Ops 1 Reimagine mod video I posted a little while ago was cool, wait till you see the full extent of this one. I've done a full, few streams on this with this mod, and I've played different maps, and I've managed to beat a couple maps, because with this mod, you actually can do some challenges and can beat maps. And 5 is the one that I ended up dying on and was unable to beat it, so today, I'm going to try to restore my honor and beat 5 with the Renaissance oh, mod. So not only do we have some minor changes like this, but there's going to be some new custom perks. I'm not sure if there's any on 5 specifically, but there should be new custom perks. New custom weapons. Oh, let's try not to die here. And amongst all that, there is custom bosses, and it's it's going to get crazy. So let's just try to get out of spawn, get power turned on, and let's see where we can go from here. So let's just finish up this round here. It's only round two, and it's five, so we can open up this door. And they replaced the MPL with the MP5. All right, that's that's our first kind of custom weapon you can see. This is not even the Black Ops 2 MP5. Looks a little bit different, huh? Speed cool is here though, let's grab some points, and let's just try to earn some points to get to down this elevator shaft. Alright, slowly but surely we're making our way downstairs, we have, we should have enough points to keep going now, so let's get down here. The map itself is not going to look too different, oh boy, it's dog round? What's going on? I'm kind of scared, isn't it normally the... Okay, it's, it's actual dog round, it's not the kind of scientist round. Okay, I think we can handle this, hopefully. It's actually going to be pretty crazy, because Renaissance Mod is like hardcore Black Ops 1, let me put it that way. They're like, let's add some new, cool, unique stuff that makes the game fun and a little bit easier. And let's balance it out by adding some hardcore stuff, like faster dogs, more dogs, tougher zombies, zombie bosses, elemental zombie types. This is going to be an actually crazy match, so I hope I can actually survive. But, now that that round's over, I'm all looking around for parts, I'm so used to like Black Ops 4 and other stuff. The trench gun has replaced whatever was here, which I think was the stakeout, so I'm actually going to buy that. And let's just spend another round down here because I need to get enough points to open up power and get back up here, so let's do that. Our main objective here is going to be trying to get down to get power on, get pack much opened up, and then we can start on our challenges, and once we complete all of the challenges, we will be able to escape, so... Let's see how this is going to go. We got a bunch of zombies spawning in, but man, this shotgun is actually really good. You got even had penetration right there. I went straight through that one. Bam. All right, let's go downstairs now. I think we're towards the end of the round. I'm missing out on this double points to get some more points, but it's okay. And man, this MP5 is really solid. It's like a one-shot headshot right now. I know we're on round six, but hey. Okay. Oh, there's more zombies. Thought we're at the end of the round. All right, we can run over here, and oh no, not crawlers. I didn't even turn power on yet. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know how this map works. <laughs> okay, the box is not in there, it looks like. So that means it's got to be in here, right? Oh, shoot. I hate Nova crawlers. We got Electric Cherry here. There's one of our new additions. I think that's added to every map, then. That could be the case. But let me just check. Is the box over here? Uh, the box is not back here. Alright, going into DEFCON 5, going into the Pack-A-Bunch room, and now there's actually a board here, so activate challenges, 3,500? Oh man, I, no wonder. So we have to get this activated as soon as possible to actually get this going, so... Oh, Vulture Aid? What are you doing here? Oh, well that's, that's good to see. Oh, I got a piece of meat, so I can throw that down. It'll attract all the zombies temporarily. It's made for grief mode, but they decided to add it as just a normal drop inside this mod. So it's kind of a cool idea, a neat addition. And that's a lot of zombies. Hopefully I can thin them out a little bit, mostly. I think we're towards the end of the round, kind of. Let's see. Get this zombie, get that one. Man, this is such a satisfying shotgun to use. 
<laughs> All right, we finally have enough to get Jug, so let's pick this bad boy up. And man, I don't know what the sounds of the perk drink animation, like when he tears off the bottle cap, it sounds a lot better than, you know, how it normally should, we'll say. And maybe I'll hope on a fire cell or something because we're running out of ammo and it's going to be kind of tough without ammo. All right, we can now make our way back to the Pack-a-Munch room and we can now activate these challenges. Okay. So let's take a look at what we have to do this game. Get 15 melee kills, that'll be good for insta-kills, is what we'll wait for. Kill 25 explosive dogs without getting hit by the explosion, that's pretty simple, I think. Obtain 6 or more perks at once, interesting, so it looks like there's no perk limit, or at least a higher cap. And spend 30,000 points. Alright, so I'm actually glad we started this early on. Now we're going to get a head start on it and be able to beat the match sooner than like round 50, hopefully. So let's see how this goes. Alright, here we got a death machine. This thing looks actually crazy. This doesn't look like it's from BO1 at all. <laughs> Looks like it's taken out of Modern Warfare 2019 or something like that. But let's just push them all back. And once this runs out, though, I'm kind of screwed. Are, th are those elemental zombies? Oh, no. They're here already. So there's gas ones. There's teleporting ones. Oh, you guys are in for a treat. Oh, God, there's one now. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. All right, so the scientist got my gun. And I'm stuck with- Oh my god, what was that? Oh, and a crawler? I want out of here. I don't like it here. <laughs> we got an HK though. So, things are looking up a little bit. I mean, maybe I should be glad that he took my gun. I can't see anything. But, I'm gonna try to get out of here before I have to reload. Okay. We made it out. Ah, oh, this game's a little scary sometimes. Can't lie. <laughs> oh, another suicide bomber. Great. I think this would be absolutely insane in co-op as well, I can't lie. I can't wait for the Black Ops 1 to be dropping a plutonium and probably sometime very soon. It's supposed to come out in May, and we're in May, so... Okay, well, look on the bright side. As soon as we get here, goodbye Double Tap 2.0. Oh, zombies are already here too. Oh, if you guys don't know the difference between 2.0 and 1.0, 1.0 double tap just speeds up your fire rates and doesn't really do much good for you, to be honest, because you run out of ammo pretty fast. Double tap 2.0 makes it so you, you know, you shoot two bullets for every one that you shoot. What the hell? A shrieker? What a bad time to explain. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to make it to the teleporter. Oh. Why are they waiting for me up here? Ow! Alright, so while we have a crawler, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a gun... Okay, a, an actual gun. Monkey bombs are great, don't get me wrong, but I need a gun that's gonna do good. Oh, I see the freeze ray in there. Ooh, the PPSH. Ooh, that's pretty... that's pretty good, actually. Do I even want to spin again? Man, I don't know. Let's, let's try this out for a little bit, and then maybe eventually we'll try to get the freeze ray. This, this PPSH is going to be solid. And by the way, guys, I'm not going to try to train up on five. Oh my goodness. Because with these mods, we can hopefully actually hold it out. Oh my god, I'm going to die here. Oh my goodness, that gas was OP. That's not good, guys. I almost died there. Oh my... Why is this so, so scary? <laughs> We got a crawler, so let's go ahead. Oh, what was that? Was that a challenge? I think I did the spend. Th oh my goodness, that's the Raygun Mark II. This wasn't in Black Ops 1 either. <laughs> let's go for one more spin, real quick. Let's try to get the freeze ray once more. And we moved the box, so I think that's good. Are these Simtaxes? No, they're frags. Rough. But while we're down here, should I grab Electric Cherry? I think this would be pretty useful, and I don't like coming down here, so let's just grab that. And then let's just get out of here. Alright guys, we got the scientist coming this time. But I think I have an idea. Kill him with the Raygun Mark II. And I think that was a solid idea because he is dead as hell. So let's go ahead and take advantage of this bonfire cell. Alright, let's go. Oh! We got free challenges done. Oh, there's a boss. Oh, another one. Okay, well... Let's go ahead and take advantage of the bonfire cell. It was almost too late. 
All right, I barely got that one done, so. So I was looking around with Vulture Aid, and I noticed a little something back here that I might want to pick up. We have Widow's Wine in the back. Oh. Ah, my disappointment is measurable. My day is ruined. Look, how was I supposed to know there was a seven perk limit? Like, like that's kind of a weird number. Oh. Oh, I don't even know what look, look, look what I got, the freeze ray, and this thing looks sick, it's all purple and stuff, so I think we'll try to go around without pack-a-punching it, and then we'll go pack-a-punch it, so let's go ahead and just finish up this round here. Alrighty, shall we try out this new and improved Winter's Howl? Let's see if it's any good. This is non-pack-a-punch, round 20, and wow, that is so, so much better than even the pack-a-punch version of normal BO1. Wow. <laughs> that is, like, if you guys know how bad this thing is without this mod running, you guys know. Can it freeze the exploding guy? Wow. That's pretty... This is pretty OP. Oh, boy. And can I get ammo back from Vulturate? Can I, like, pick up a round or something around here? I'm not sure if I can, but that would be the ultimate thing. But now we're going to sit here, farm up points... And man, I, I can't wait to pack a bunch of this thing now. <laughs> but I might as well use up the ammo while I have it, right? Alright, we got dog round. So I'm gonna try to sit here for this round. If they spawn, like, not right in front of me, we should be okay, I think. Oh my god, there was a teleporting one. That's not fair. Honestly, some of them I can't even see. They're all coming in so fast. Oh, well that was one hell of a dog round, I'll put it that way. We're inching ever so closer to finishing up our challenges though. Hopefully before round 30 we'll be able to get them all finished up. Vulture Aid's helping me out a bit too. There should be a sound cue once I actually finish it too. I hear dogs spawning though, so that's going to be tough. Alright, we did it, perfect. Alright, that's three out of the four challenges, I believe. Now we just need to finish the Exploding Dogs one. Which we should be inching really close to. And we could finish it any round now, since dogs spawn in during the rounds, too. Here we go, welcome to D-Day! Zombie D-Day, eh? Is there a dog back there, too? Or a normal Exploder? Oh! Maybe they're normal. It's hard to tell these days. And the Smart 2, I haven't really used it much, but this thing wrecks too. I mean, as you might expect. But look at it, man. It's really got some penetration in this game. Reminds me of when it first came out on BO2 and it was like, super good. Alright, here we are on Dog Round, I believe. Yeah, it is, definitely. It's It kind of gets confusing with the scientists and dogs, but hey, I think it's actually a good idea on 5. It's pretty unique, actually. Having two different dog rounds. Oh, that's a three-handed dog. I think that one teleports, or, you know, there's different types that do different things. There's an exploding one. Another one. Hey, max ammo. Okay, we still don't have enough dogs, but I killed, I want to say, like, three or four exploding ones there, so we just have three or four left to go. Okay, so getting into the 30s, like, even just late 20s, starting into 30s, this Hunter's Howl is kind of not so great anymore. It's taking two shots to kill, but one shot does slow down the entire horde, so... I guess it's... I mean, if it stays this way forever, it'd be balanced, but I have a feeling it's not it's going to be staying that way. Alright, let's try out this buzzsaw again. It's really ripping and tearing. Bonfire Cell? I take it, but I don't really need it, you know? I don't actually know if you can keep pack-a-punching, so I'm just gonna try. Um, it does not work with that. It works with the normal gun. So I'm guessing you can't actually increase, like, your damage. This isn't, like, Black Ops 4, I assume. So I don't know... What, what does it do, then, when I keep double-packing my normal gun? I really don't know. What is this? Space Race? Oh, I think that's probably there in the normal 5, huh? Oh, uh oh Here we go. Now that's zombies. And if we jump into Pack-a-Punch, it appears to be done. We have... What is that? Beat the game for 50 grand. 
All right, guys, well, it took an hour, but we finally beat five with the Renaissance mod. That is a crazy map and an even crazier mod. I'll link it down in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. That's the Renaissance mod made by Partisan Executioner Slayer Beast 12 x Sanchez 78 in Kagamine Addict. So that's pretty cool. If you guys enjoy videos like this, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.